Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm going to be doing a daily message for you um, and we're going to be having a look at what the cards need to reveal. So regardless of what sign you are, um, it can be Aries through to Pisces. Um, guys, I only uh, do it by... Um, by signs um, to help you in, in search results in YouTube. But other than that, this is a daily collective message for all signs. So if you're watching this, there may be a message, a guided um, intuitive message here for you. So uh, let's have a look and see what's coming up in the cards. Um, for those watching, what do they need to know? What is the daily message for you um, right now? Okay, what is the message you have to hear? Uh, okay, we have a few cards that have fallen out. Okay, the, the word that's coming to mind here is rejection. And I feel like this is really standing out. This is sort of crowning the reading. It's a card that was sitting on the bottom here alone. Um, so I feel like there is there is a message here for some of you that you're blocking an opportunity, you're blocking a person, you're blocking things from, from happening, um, or you're blocking them internally. There's a world of opportunity that is around you, romantically speaking, um, and there's a lot of there's a lot of connections that could be fairly su successful. Um, and you're in a Libra in energy right now. Okay, you've got the Justice card. So you're in a Libra in energy. You're in a romantic energy. Um, you're in an energy where you need to find balance, where you need to find your counterpart. So if you're looking for a karmic connection, there's possibly one around you. The Justice card is the universe that's bringing you a person or bringing you a connection. So it's currently present in your life. It's around you. Um, and I feel like with the with the Two of Swords, you might have been blocking this connection from happening. For one reason or another, you've decided against this connection. Um, or there's someone trying to get to you. They're trying to find you. They're trying to relocate you. They're trying to reconnect. Um, you know, there's, there's someone that's sort of fighting for something here with the Ace of Swords. Now, the question is, is this fight or this struggle with yourself internally or with this person? There may be a message here that... There may be a message here that you're wrestling with um, thoughts of whether to, to continue a relationship or maybe whether to give someone a second chance. The notion that the Ace of Swords brings is really like this, you know, we're trying too hard or we're trying relentlessly or, you know, we'll stop at nothing to get what it is that we want. So someone's really trying and someone's just not having it. There is some sort of internal block that's going on. Um, I don't know for some of you if you need the time to yourself right now. Um, if you need the time internally, but you're sort of retreating into yourself here. Um, and you're looking to yourself for answers, or it's almost like you're relying on yourself. There's someone who's fighting, who wants to be a part of this connection, or is, you know, trying to maybe make things right with you again. Um, but it's, it's almost like a vibe with the two of swords and the four of, uh, cups, um, a uh, pentacle, sorry. It's almost like a vibe that you don't, you're not ready for this or you're rejecting it for a reason. If you're rejecting it, it's it's for a reason. Okay, um, the universe might be trying to say something. You need to sort out some other things going on in your life in some other areas maybe. Justice needs to be served. Someone's not doing justice to a connection. You're either not doing fair, you're not playing fair by this person. Maybe they're not playing fair by you. There may be a message here that this has to stop. This is a line drawn in the sand or a line that needs to be drawn in the sand. Um, yeah, really, really interesting, I find. Um, What comes to mind is, I mean, we've got the moon here, so there can be a cancer involved for some of you. <clears throat> it's almost like to them, to this person or to whoever, you're sort of, you're, you're, you've got this six of swords kind of energy where you're like, everything's okay, everything's good. 
to them, it's almost like you're not showing them this behavior. For some reason, there's something that you're hiding. And I feel like it's that two of swords popping back in, um, pop, popping back up. And it may be a message here that, that you're feeling like you have to hide these thoughts or if, if, if you share them, this person will know. But they may be more understanding than you think. I mean, there is a discussion that needs to be had here with the Three of Pentacles. This person might be more understanding than you think they are. Um, there could be another person involved here for some of you. That ace can be a new person trying to fight to be in your life. Um, you may already be in a relationship. Um, but are you doing this this justice? Or is this person, are they doing you justice? Do they know that you're involved? And they're still sort of persisting with that connection maybe? With the Three of Pentacles. But there's it's almost like negotiating with yourself maybe sometimes we need to turn internally we need to look inside internally uh and and negotiate with ourselves and maybe this is what needs to happen here with that three of pentacles it's either internal negotiation or it's negotiation with someone else there's there's a bit of a bump in the road maybe in your journey um and you need to talk to this person about it Um, you need to talk and discuss at length what's going on here. It could even be the past. You may be looking back to the past. Um, the moon is very small here. It can represent the past. It can also be the subconscious. Um, your subconscious mind might be trying to tell you something here. So it may be a message here. Do not ignore this message. Do not ignore your subconscious. Um... It may be trying to tell you something very, very vital um, to yourself internally, uh, maybe to the connection as well. Um, and you're aware of it. I think you're aware of it on a lot of levels. You're, you're clinging to the situation so you're clinging to these thoughts you're clinging to this memory you're clinging to the past you're clinging to this rejection or this self-doubt there's there's an element of stubbornness you can't move the four of pentacles um and it'll continue to stay that way unless some patterns are changed by yourself or by the people involved in this love connection so patterns need to change Um, I will leave it at that, though. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Like I said, this can be for any sign watching. It's a collective message that you may need to hear today. Um, so thank you again for clicking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Really do appreciate it. Um, and hopefully we shall be in touch very soon. So thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.